Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shea Cormac. Shea has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. <sighs> I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. restoring these servers now. So no more excuses. Those servers up and running now.
Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agaté fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agaté out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grandpré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. Got your animus ready and waiting. Set of Shay's memories loaded up and ready to go. We are nearly there. Know that you are aiding a worthy cause, even if you do not yet know what it is. Same one as before. Shay's back at Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Ça, c'est bien les hommes. Pas une once de bon sens à eux deux. What are you doing? I have no quarrel with you! You, uncultured swine! You should not have left your backwater colony! Ouais, retourne à Boston! In Philadelphia, actually. Oh! So, he's a comedian too! Help! Help! Uh. Finally, uh, some excitement. Uh, 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 Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But 
What are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Je diminue votre paix. Allez, une heure à l'ouest, vous autres. Ça suffit. Oh. Tout va bien. Garde, au secours. Je suis trop jeune pour mourir. Garde. Thank you, Shay. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. Ça suffit. Appelez les gardes. Je vous connais Hmm. How? How did you do that? It was quite fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Hmm. Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> 